Last Friday before the home football game versus Mannheim Township, the first annual hair drive was held at Cedar Crest High School. I put out the challenge last August because I knew that I was going to do it um, next October. So first I started doing it with uh, the sports teams and I was like, why do I just, just because I coach doesn't mean other people don't want to do it. So then what I did was I just threw it out to anyone and it just kind of spiraled from there. It was awesome. It's so exciting that we have like 60 participants doing this. So that means that we can create 10 wigs. I sat down with several donors to hear their take on what it means to donate your hair. I've been growing out my hair for about two years. I like having longer hair, so like I kept growing it and then I found out about the hair drive, so I just never cut it. I cut my hair to my shoulders last August. I actually um, donated my hair twice before, so doing it again just sounded like a great idea. Think of all the people who have had cancer and cannot have hair gonna grow back. Think of the people that don't have it. We're privileged to have such long hair. Then why not share it with the world? My grandmother, she had breast cancer and she passed. My mom had kidney cancer, so I like to get involved in anything that's related to helping. She's like a better person and I'm trying to make a change. It makes me feel good knowing that I can give other people the opportunity to have hair. I'm excited but I'm like nervous, like, I don't want to have like a shroom head. <laughs> I've only cut my hair short once and it didn't look very good, but hey, it'll grow back its hair. I'll miss having a long ponytail. The short little stubs aren't too, you know. <laughs>